Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we are continuing the renovations here in our 1975 double wide mobile home. I make a delicious chicken dinner, and we share some beautiful mountain scenery. It was a lovely day here in the Virginia mountains, so if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. What a beautiful day, y'all. I just love living here in the Virginia mountains. The scenery is just gorgeous, and there's always something new to see. It never gets boring, and I'm so happy I get to share it with all of you. After I take Max and Willow out for a walk, then Tim and I are going to get to work in our oldest son's room. Today, we are priming the walls. We are getting so close to finishing our first phase of renovations. We recently painted Granny's and our youngest son's room, and now we're painting our oldest son's room. We're determined to have those three bedrooms ready to move into by our April deadline. April marks one year since we began renovating in our nearly 50-year-old mobile home. All that's left to do is to paint our son's room, and then we'll be ready to have our brand new vinyl plank flooring installed sometime in March. Once the flooring is installed, then all that's left is to decorate, and I can't wait. So if y'all are ready, let's just get into the video. I'm so in love with the view from the window here in my son's room. It has a gorgeous view, especially at this time of the day when the sun is going down behind the Blue Ridge Mountains. The sunsets are always so breathtaking. I'm so happy that we found this property to buy just over a year ago. It's our own little piece of paradise, and I feel so blessed to be able to wake up to these views every day. I could sit here all day watching the beautiful scenery, but we have work to do. We have gotten a very late start today. We have planned to prime the walls today so that we can paint the walls tomorrow, but it looks like all we'll have time for tonight is cutting in with the primer. Tim has been working so hard to get these rooms ready for flooring, and he's doing an awesome job, so he deserves a break. Once we finish our first phase of renovations this spring, we're going to take some time off from renovating and head outside to tackle some yard work. We'd love to start a vegetable garden and build a chicken coop. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's get to priming. Thank you. 
Tim is priming the window frame and then he'll begin cutting it around the window, ceiling, and corners. He'll also be priming the ceiling tonight, but that's about all he'll have time for before we have to call it a night. We keep finding spots on the drywall that need to be sanded or in some areas he had to add more drywall mud which had to dry before we could start painting. That's why we got such a late start today. But that's alright, that's pretty much how it goes around here. We work on the house any chance that we get, which could be early in the morning or late at night. We should be able to get an earlier start tomorrow, but who knows? All we can do is just take it one day at a time. But thankfully, we're almost finished with our first phase of renovations. Once Granny and the two boys are settled into their rooms, hopefully things will begin to settle down around here and future renovations will go much faster. At least I hope so. this room isn't as big as the last room we painted so it shouldn't take as long to cut in around the room or to paint. My son has chosen to paint this room white. We will be painting the window, door, and trim in an ultra pure white with a semi-gloss finish but the wall color is called du jour. There were like a million and one shades of white to choose from and it was hard to pick but after comparing several samples we opted for a soft and creamy white which will pair nicely with different shades of wood and since my son wants to build his own bed frame from solid logs, we thought this white would be a good option as a backdrop to the natural wood bed that he wants to build.
Look at those sweet love bugs. They sure do love to be loved on. Well, after Tim takes a little break, he's going to go ahead and prime the ceiling before wrapping it up for tonight. We'll get right back to work first thing in the morning. It's bright and early the next morning, and Tim is back to work. Poor guy, he never gets a break, but he's determined to complete these rooms in time for Lowe's to install the flooring. Once the flooring is installed, that means I get to start decorating, and then Granny and two of our sons get to move into their new rooms. And then we'll be able to take a break from renovating for a while. We plan on spending some time outdoors this spring, building our chicken coop and raised garden beds. I ordered a bunch of vegetable and fruit seeds that I want to get started indoors in time to move outside this spring. I hope I'm not too late to get started, but I suppose it's better late than never. I want to grow squash, zucchini, collards, tomatoes, cabbage, watermelon, cantaloupe, and maybe a few more veggies, 
but I don't want to go too overboard on our first time planting a garden. I know we've got a lot to learn and I can't wait to get started. I've got everything we need to get started. We just have to find the time to start. get an early start today but we have to stop early due to other family commitments so we'll have to wait to actually paint the walls for a different day after Tim primes the walls we have a ton of errands to go run but don't worry the video is not over yet once we get back home from running errands I'm gonna be making dinner I found a new easy chicken recipe that I want to try out it's called melt in your mouth chicken and it sounds delicious so I can't wait for dinner tonight
Shoo, what a busy day, y'all. We've just got back from running errands, and now it's time to get dinner started. Tonight we're having melt-in-your-mouth chicken, honey-glazed carrots, cucumbers marinated in vinegar, and white rice. According to the recipe, this chicken will melt in your mouth. The chicken is slathered with a garlicky sour cream and mayonnaise mixture, which locks the moisture into the chicken while it is baking in the oven, which is what creates a melt-in-your-mouth texture. It seems to be an easy recipe because once you make the creamy mixture, you just spread it all over the chicken and throw it in the oven to bake. Once it finishes baking, you'll have a very flavorful, extra tender chicken dinner that was so easy to make. I'm going to get started by getting the rice in the rice maker. Then I'll cut the cucumbers to get them marinating in the vinegar while I make the rest of our dinner. It will be so nice when we finally get chickens and I can feed them things like these carrot peelings instead of just throwing them away. I also need to start a compost pile. We've just been so busy renovating that I really haven't had a chance to sort it all out yet, but we'll get to it soon enough. 
We have a lot that we would like to do here on our property, like collecting rainwater, raising honeybees, and planting an orchard. I want to learn how to preserve food and make jams and jellies, and I would love to have a herd of goats, a couple of donkeys, and maybe even a pig or two. I want to do it all, y'all, but there's only so much time in a day, and we're just taking it one project at a time. Right now, we're focusing on renovating the mobile home, but this spring, we'll add some chickens to the homestead and hopefully grow a few vegetables. It's just going to take a little patience and baby steps, and before we know it, we'll have a full-blown homestead, which has always been a dream of mine. lot of chicken around here. One package used to be enough to feed our family, but now that the boys are getting older and have bigger appetites, well, one package just isn't enough anymore. But two full packages is a bit too much, so we've started cooking one and a half packages of chicken at a time, which is nine chicken breasts in total. So I'm going to freeze the three leftover chicken breasts and save them for the next time I make chicken. 
Next, I'm going to rinse the chicken in cold water. Yes, I know you're not supposed to rinse chicken, but I've always been a rinser, just like my mom. Once they're rinsed, I'll dry them off with paper towels so that the creamy sour cream and mayonnaise mixture will stick to the chicken. Next, I'll make the mixture that will cover the chicken. It contains sour cream, mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, salt, and pepper. The mixture will be spread all over the chicken breast, and then the chicken will bake in a 375 degree oven for approximately 45 minutes. Like I mentioned before, we eat a lot of chicken and ground beef these days due to the price of red meat. It's just gotten so expensive. We only buy steaks if they're on sale, which is very rare and usually just for special occasions. It's a good thing we all like chicken around here, but I'm always looking for new chicken recipes to make our dinners more interesting. I'm afraid that Tim thinks the new chickens we're going to get this spring will be meat chickens, but I'm afraid he's mistaken. The new chickens will definitely be my pets, and I can't imagine ever eating them. All right, well, let's get this chicken in the oven. I'm going to spread the creamy mixture all over the chicken and then bake them for approximately 45 minutes in a 375-degree oven for approximately 40... I said that already. <laughs> or until they reach an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees.
Since I have about 45 minutes before dinner is ready, I decided to go ahead and wash some of the dirty dishes. I don't always get a chance to wash dishes before dinner, but it's nice when I do. It helps make the after dinner dishes load much easier to handle. Well, once I finish with the dishes, then I'll finish making the honey glazed carrots. To make the honey glazed carrots, I just boiled the carrots until they were fork tender. Now I'll drain the carrots and set them aside while I make the glaze. For the glaze, I'll just melt some butter and honey in the same pan that I cooked the carrots in. I'll then add the carrots back to the glaze and let them soak up the glaze until the chicken is ready. chicken is almost ready so I'm going to go ahead and dish up the veggies and rice. I know the chicken is ready because I constantly check it with a meat thermometer and the creamy mixture that I spread on the chicken is golden brown and it smells delicious. I have a tendency to overcook my chicken so I'm constantly checking it so I can make sure to pull it out of the oven once it reaches an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees. It's usually more like 170 to 175 degrees, but I want to make sure the chicken is cooked thoroughly. I'm always afraid of feeding us all raw chicken, and then we'll all be sick, and I don't want that to happen. I'm definitely getting better at pulling the chicken out at 165 degrees, and the chicken has been turning out perfectly cooked and tender. <laughs>
goodness, that chicken looks so good. And it smells even better. My oldest son, who doesn't give very many compliments, has been so sweet lately. He's loving all the new recipes I've been trying out. He's very fit and works out all the time, but he told me the other day that he's starting to gain weight from all the good food I've been making. He's so funny. He's not actually gaining weight, but that's his way of letting me know he's been enjoying the delicious food. In fact, everyone has been enjoying the new dishes, and that makes my heart very happy. y'all that's about it for another video we're going to go enjoy this delicious melt in your mouth chicken and then get back to work hopefully by my next video we'll be able to finish the painting in all the bedrooms so that we'll be ready for Lowe's to install the new vinyl plank flooring all right y'all I really hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to talk to you next time I hope you all have a great week take care bye y'all